What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to Amaka's Autograph. If you are new here, my name is Amaka, and if you're a returning subscriber, you're welcome back. So just join the family. So guys, in today's video, I'll be telling us the basic things an upcoming makeup artist should know. So if you're an upcoming makeup artist or you wish to be a makeup artist, you're still considering it, then this video is for you. Here are five basic skills, stroke techniques you need to master before booking any jobs. Don't make the mistake of not knowing these five these five techniques and you are booking a job. You just go there and disgrace yourself. <laughs> so, guys, let's jump right into this video. So, guys, the first thing we have on this list is skin prep. Hmm. I'll use myself as an example. When I started makeup, my, the only skin prep I knew was applying your primer, foundation, makeup a bit ago. You start your makeup. <laughs> but <laughs> mm, it's it's it carried me for a while, yes. But learning more about skin prepping, other things, guy, I I I got to understand that makeup is 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 way more much more like is more than what i thought it was i just thought it was all about using your primer your foundation your face concealer you do it and you finish but guys when i started learning about cream prep when i started putting my mind into skin prepping and then learning a lot i i i i learned a lot like i noticed that prepping your face properly makes a whole lot of difference trust me guys it makes a whole lot of difference it doesn't only clean out dirt from your face it also helps your makeup last longer yes and it's also like it makes your makeup you it gives you that all together finished look when you're done with, with the makeup so guys for skin prepping okay i'll just give us a basic skin prep you can try out as a beginner if if you just started doing makeup and you 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 want you are still considering things you need to buy for your prepping then you can start by getting your micellar water if you have the micellar water it's very very helpful because it helps clean out dirt from your face so if you want to start your makeup as an upcoming um if you want to start up your makeup when you have your micellar water, you can start by cleaning the face of your client with your micellar water. Then after that, you can now go in with your sweat block. If you have a sweat block, you just damp it. Not like put a lot because if you put a lot, it's going to dry up your face and it's going to crease everywhere. You don't apply too much, too much sweat block. When I first got a sweat block, I was making that mistake of using a brush to apply my my sweat blow and at the end of the day you your makeup will end up creasing until i learned on how to use maybe a little bit of cotton wool to just swipe it just dab it in all of, all around your face or better still use your wipes to soak a little bit and dab it all over your face it's not meant to be like poured on your face to dry your sweat if i even sweat more when you do that so after using your sweat block you can you can now go in with a moisturizer. You see, hey guys, even while I was using those sweat block and all that, I, I was not very doing moisturizer until I attended one, one online class, online makeup class, and guy, I noticed the difference of a moisturizer, of using a moisturizer. And I started using a moisturizer, and guys, it helps me use a little bit of foundation. It saves my foundation. Before, when you use just a sweat block and your face is all dried up, you know, you're applying your um, your oil control primer and then you go in with your foundation and you are wasting your foundation in one phase because it's not giving you this full coverage but if you use the moisturizer a good moisturizer at that on your face and then you're using your conceal your, your foundation guys trust me you're going to love the outcome because it's going to make you help you use a little bit of of foundation on your face and it will still give you a, a, a more shinier look and a very very full coverage if you want to see an example of that then check the this the, the the first two videos before this one then you're going to see the difference it gave because i tried it out on that video and i did everything on a live camera 
so guys after using your moisturizer then you can go in with your primer and then your foundation okay and and then you can use your your setting spray to set your face to just spray a little allow it to dry and then you go in with your foundation and trust me you're going to love it guys so guys if you are a beginner you can use this method i just gave you now is a simple prep that you can do and it's not going to cost too much so let's jump into the next point the next point here is uh, is hygiene guys you have to be very very careful when it comes to your hygiene make sure you use after attending to one customer you you wash up your stuffs before you attend to another customer because if my kind of person comes to your studio and you and you are using uh, maybe a beauty blender you just use for another customer without washing to try to use on my face ah, it's not going to work now am i even going to come back to your studio again no so before you look any job always make sure that you, you you are maintaining that hygiene before you go to any job make sure that all your things are in place check out your recheck your box make sure your your breast sets are properly washed your beauty blenders are properly damped washed and properly dried up to just be damp and no wet like just try to maintain your hygiene properly like you 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 are being judged from the way you present yourself is the way you present yourself as a makeup artist that's the way the people you are going to do the makeup to is going to address you if not if this is bridal chain girls uh, do you something if they do you something you will learn <laughs> you will learn by force if they embarrass you finish you're going to learn <laughs> so guys always make sure you're maintaining proper hygiene it's very very important so guys color correcting you know a lot of us look down on this color correcting there's a concealer for color, color correcting and um, there's the orange color one and there's a the green one i think i don't know if there's any other color but these two color is the ones i know and i use the orange colored one okay so most times you go for a job and you see these all these anti them that used to use bleaching cream you you will now be seeing some parts will be red some parts will be green and some people is just blemishes on their faces or like or color discoloration col color discoloration <laughs> so whenever you see something like that you don't have to panic sometimes you get confused which concealer which foundation am i going to use on this face because you're confused on what to use you can start by color correcting the face and then you'll be able to determine what to do next so color correcting even though people look down on it is still very very important it's a good step to a good makeup color matching so guys um i'll be giving an instance with your your eyeshadow and your lip gloss your lipstick you cannot use two colors that won't match or two colors that are too harsh on someone's face it's not going to look nice and it's going to just spoil your work for you so you should always be able to match up good colors know what to suit the shadow and the lip at the same time you get always note that then eyebrows my dear eyebrows is is something worth studying about if not you always mess up your 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 eyebrows like eyebrows is one of the things that gave me that gave me headache when i started knowing where your arc is ending knowing where your arc is beginning right yeah and knowing where your eyebrows should start is one thing you should always know and learning how to draw it properly palm your brows all those kind of things is very very it's something worth learning guys it's going to be stressful at the beginning but with time you get used to it even while you'll be conce concealing your brows your hands will be shaking and all that but just calm down relax and everything will be taken care of girl just keep practicing and with time you're going to start doing really well on on what you know how to do best okay so guys that will be all for today watch out for my next video because it's going to be a bomb i don't know what it's going to be yet but just make sure you come back for the next video
<laughs> bye for now i love you guys thanks for watching do well to like comment subscribe and also share with your friends it will definitely these tips will definitely be helpful for someone out there who needs to hear it okay so guys bye i love you guys Mwah.